Welcome to Urban AI Strategic Media Thinking Platform. Today, I want to talk about the Jordan brand, man. And this is just, you know, this is just something that companies do. Um, they have a long history of doing this. Companies have always done this. Um, what we see right now from the Jordan brand, um, they 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 start to panic a little bit. I don't know if that's the certain term panic, but they're definitely giving the public things that they've been holding in the var <clears throat> in the past. Okay, it's certain shoes, it's certain uh colorways of shoes that's coming out that the Jordan brand has held on to for a long time and they teased us they they've made shoes kind of like them and they've kind of done all type of other things all the grails or let me not say all oh, a lot of the grails that people wanted and these og colorways that people have been waiting for that haven't been released for 10 or 15 years are being released all right and look what i'm gonna say about this is there's a possibility a lot of these shoes may sit it's the high possibility a lot of these shoes may sit. It's a high possibility that some of these will stay retail for a while. Some of these even will go below retail. All right. So I got a little list that I'm going to talk about that's just showing us proof that, you know what I'm saying? Retailers and companies, when people aren't spending money and when economic times are tough, companies result to lowering prices and they result to releasing uh a plethora of merchandise <clears throat> and a lot of this merchandise is gonna sit so in the future three or four years when the economy pick back up the shoes that are released in 24 and 25 will be the highest resellers i right? in the in the next years moving forward and this is not for just yours i want to make that very clear I want to make that very clear. This video specifically is about Jordans, but it's so many shoes nowadays in 2024, moving into 2025 that are acceptable to wear and that people like that are popular, that are accepted by the general public. Um, you know, years ago, it was kind of only a couple of brands dominated the whole sneakerhead space. Now it's so many different brands so many different silhouettes and colors it's good to see man but what you see on the screen right now is the news when the flu games got canceled all right so this is from sne a sneaker news post on instagram about three three weeks ago when the flu game was canceled all right so a, a month or so before that there was a big announcement flu games that was a big sign for me that i knew Jordan was about to start pulling out all the stops. As long as the people have wanted flu games for them to release them. Um, and you know, they there have been some other releases actually. Let's go to Copilot. I'm gonna look this up, but there's been some releases, but I feel a lot of the 12s in the past, you know, besides a couple of the special edition ones, didn't have the best materials, all right? So it was a certain type of updated material that people wanted to see the flu games in. We just wanted a fresh pair of the flu games, but I'm going to get an exact date of... When was the last Air Jordan flu games? release all right so while that's looking that up we gonna go into okay all right so the last ones here we go the air jordan 12 flu game last released in 2016 however exciting news awaits these iconic sneakers are confirmed to return in spring 2025 All right, now, this is another shoe. This is another piece of news that I heard that I knew I right, something is coming. A lot of heat is about to come. The Steel Air Jordan 10s, OG. Now, this is important. A lot of the shoes we're going to discuss are OG shoes. Jordan has had the clamp on OG shoes. They tease OG shoes. 
these this these last two years, 2024, 2025, so many back-to-back OGs that we've seen, and a lot of them has sat. It's a lot of videos of reimagined brand for sitting. All right, will this be the case with these steel tins? I don't know. Okay, let's talk about these steel tins, man. We haven't seen tins in a long time, much less a OG tin. Why, Jordan? Where is this coming from? Why now? Because it's a recession. When the money was flowing, y'all was throwing whatever out there. And that's how these companies work. You have to be strategic. And this is a strategic thinking platform. And I bet you, this we're going to do a part two, actually. We're going to do a part two. And we're going to get into botting. Remember when sneaker botting was all the rage? What happened to the bots? There's no need for bots anymore. If it's a specific, specific shoe or it's, you know, a special, special edition type deal or something like that or super limited. Yes. But for the main part, you do not need bots anymore. I bet you there will not there won't be any bots for these OG all these OG releases. I don't see bots. I just don't see it. And here you go right here. Steel tens. Crazy. Why now, Jordan Brand? The Air Jordan 10 OG Steel last released in 2016. However, exciting news awaits. These iconic sneakers are confirmed to return in summer 2025. You'll find them at select Jordan brand retailers and online via Nike.com. Get ready for a classic comeback. Pay attention to how the the co-pilot talks about the shoes that's being released. You're going to notice a theme. All right. Now. 2024 to 2025, or excuse me, these two that we just touched on, 2025, flu game 12s, still 10s, okay? Something else that caught my attention, long awaited, OG, great. Fives. OG. The Air Jordan 5 Grape is set to make a comeback in summer 2025. You'll find this iconic silhouette at select Jordan brand retailers and online via Nike.com. While the exact retail price hasn't been confirmed yet, it's likely to be around 220 US dollars. Get ready to step up your sneaker game. Now, if it's more than 224 or 5, I'll be disappointed. I don't think that would be a good move to make these more than $225. Or excuse me, $220. The, the highest is 225 And that might be pushing it. But this is an iconic sneaker. This is a long-awaited colorway. Now, we've seen other Fresh Prince type deals. I think we've seen a type of black grape. But the OGs, when was the last time the OGs were released? Okay, 13. You notice. You notice. Oh, we had the alternate grape. The alternate grape. The alternate grape. Okay. We had the alternate grape. Yes. The Air Jordan 5 grape last released in 2013. However, exciting news awaits. All right. 2013. <clears throat> now, 
You notice all these shoes that we speaking on. Not it's nine and ten year gaps between their release. And this is this has been some of the issue. This has been some of the issue. Now, I also wanted to talk about these Travis Scott's getting canceled. Why? Listen, when it's when it comes to shoes getting canceled, things of that nature rescheduling. I haven't seen this many in one in a one to two year span ever. Why? Why? Does the recession have something to do with it? The economy? What is it? The Black Olive Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 low will not be releasing. Instead, we will be getting the Medium Olive. Why? What is the reason for the switch? Why? The Travis Scott X Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Black Olive was canceled. Instead, a medium olive low top variation will release on September 9th, 2024. While the exact reasons for the cancellation aren't specified, sneaker releases can be quite dynamic, and sometimes adjustments are made due to production or marketing considerations. Mm. Keep an eye out for the upcoming olive-colored pair. Well, we will. We will. That black olive was was just a better-looking shooter, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I would like an explanation for that, all right? Let's talk about these 14s, though, all right? Black Toes will be releasing in November. And, you know, some of these shoes, you know, we, we, we know they're releasing. We're waiting on them. They're highly anticipated. But I just want to show y'all the amount of OGs that we're seeing. This is not normal. For this many OGs to be releasing in one year. It's a reason for this. Trust and believe. And these are the times. And some of these that we're seeing, we're going to get into. These are the times that. Almost a sneaker war chest can be built. A lot of these are going to be available at retail. A lot of these will be available at retail. Some may go below. You see some of these, <clears throat> some of these shoes, some of these colorways. Now, this is a women's exclusive, but is this necessary for the C4? I mean, just, I don't know. It's a women's exclusive. Can't really speak on it much. Can't really speak on it much. Obviously not my style, not for me. But that colorway just seems off to me. It just seems off. Did I pass the black toe 14s? I don't think so. Either way, these releases are for a reason, all right? Navy SBs. Navy SBs in 2025. In my opinion, these look better than the pine greens. Will they sell better than the pine greens? I don't know. Look at that comparison. Let's look up the SB4 resale value. Because I think the Navy is going to beat it. I think the Navy um, is going to beat it. Let's see what they're talking about now. This is some information on the Pine Green that the SB4s that released in 2023 
These navies is coming in 2025 and, and expect another colorway in 2027 or possibly 2026. The Nike SB Air Jordan 4 Pine Green has been a sought-after release. On average, it resells for around $384 with a volatility of 8%. Most pairs sell between $326 and $442, resulting in markups ranging from 24% to 68% above the average retail price. That's great. If you're looking to invest, keep an eye out for the skate-ready version of the classic silhouette. Classic silhouette. How many times have we said the word classic and OG? How many times have we said the words classic and OG? That's what all these are. These navies will have a high resale value. What it said, 12, well, Randy, from 24 to 68% above the retail price. So those are good resellers, man. Those are good, good resellers. I know y'all remember those Olive 9 boots that they tried to give us. We wasn't having eyes. Those weren't terrible. And um, I seen those more than I thought I would. But for them to be so close to the Olive Nines and and just to be boots, that was kind of crazy. That it was, it was that was not it. That was not it. They definitely should have made those more boot like, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. But these Olive Nines are classic. Let's get into them. The Air Jordan 9 Olive is set to release on November 16th, 2024. This classic silhouette pays homage to Michael Jordan's global influence and presence during the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. Keep an eye out for this retro pair, which aims to stay true to the original 1993 design. This classic silhouette. Another classic silhouette. When was the last time Olive Nines were released? Are we going to get a 9 to 10 year gap again? Even bigger. Even bigger. The Air Jordan 9 Olive last released in 2012, but exciting news awaits. These iconic sneakers are confirmed to return on November 16th, 2024. All right. Do y'all see a pattern? Shoes that haven't been released 9, 10, 12 years ago. They're all coming back. These shoes. Olive Nines, resale value will be there. They will be high. This is a shoe that people are going to want. Another example of the Grails, the Jordan company is, is they're, they're having to release them. They're having to pull the big guns out. They have to. All right, they absolutely have to now. This video is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. These are crazy. These are crazy. Got to see these in real time, but this is a crazy spring shoe with the bike on the back. That's crazy. Nigel Sylvester, he had the... um. The other Air Jordan, the other Air Jordan uh, collab, the name, I can't think of the name at the moment, but they sold pretty good. And um, so this is his collab with the fours. Like I said, this is a good color for spring. I don't know how many outfits, you know, I, I would personally have with these, but this is still a good looking shoe. Jordan is pushing the collab. They 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 pushing the collab train, and they're trying to get different looks. They're trying to get different personalities behind these shoes. That's their game plan. And Jordan is cool. Jordan is considered cool. 
but you can always be cooler. You know, because time is always changing. Things are always changing. Fear fours. November 9th. Another classic. Out of the fear pack. When was the last time Jordan fear fours were released? Only, only once before. Only once before. Was it not? Was it over nine years the ago? Air Jordan four fear last released in 2013, but exciting news awaits. These iconic sneakers are confirmed to return on November 9th, 2024. Now we call this last year when the when the Fear Threes came out in 2023, but we wanted these to be the first retro out of the Fear Pack because that was the the favorite ones. So we expected these to be the ones released, but no, they gave us the Fear Threes. In my opinion, if it wasn't a recession, they wouldn't have gave us the Fear Fours. They would have made us wait. They might have gave us the Fear Fives or something else. Made us wait. Now we're really seeing Nike knows what the people want. They, they're they tapped in. They're tapped into the culture. They know what people want. They know the shoes. Here we go. They know the shoes that we want released. Black toe 14s. There goes that word again. OG. Another OG pair. Wow, Nike, so many OG pair in one year. Black toes. They pulling out all the stops. At least as much as they can in a two-year span. But I guarantee you, if the, if the economy picks up, we'll see things change. When was the last time the Black Toes were released? OG. Black Toe. The Air Jordan 1 Black Toe last released in 2016. However, exciting news awaits. The Air Jordan 1 Black Toe reimagined is set to drop on October 18th, 2024. This revamped version pays homage to Jordan's rookie year, featuring retro branding and a specific callback. Mark. Okay, that's information for the one. Okay, my bad. I fucked that up. When was the last time the... Now that that thing said that, a reimagined 14 might be kind of lit. A reimagined 14 might be kind of lit. Air Jordan Black Toe 14 was released. I actually would like to see that, man. I would like to see 14s with maybe some different type of materials. Okay, here we go with the correct information. The Air Jordan 14 Black Toe last released in 2014. However, exciting news awaits. These iconic sneakers are confirmed to return on November 2nd, 2024. The original Black Toe colorway from 1998 will make a triumphant comeback. Expect an MSRP above the standard $200 due to its OG status. OG Get status. Classic edition to your collection. Classic edition to your collection. Do y'all understand why the AI knows that? Because these are the type of words associated on the internet with these shoes. OG, classic, original. 
triumphant comeback. That's why the AI is talking like that, because that is what is associated in search engines for these shoes. So what does that tell us? This is years and years of data from this AI. That's why this is a strategic thinking media platform. And that's why we use AI. Because it can give us specific information. How it delivers information is important. Not only the information that it delivers, but how it delivers the information is also very important. But let's wrap this up because it's definitely going to be a part two. Now, I do want to get into these. These were first another switch, another change up. This is the most that we could get into. How many shoes have we heard? Oh, it's going to be reimagined. No, it's OG. Oh, no, it's reimagined. No, it's OG. Remember the first the first news about these, the cement threes, where they were going to be reimagined. Remember that? Then the backlash came. Then the backlash came online, on podcasts. It's a lot of great sneaker podcasts, by the way. I get a lot of good information from. Don't want to start naming them because I'm going to forget one. But just know that the sneaker podcast game is strong right now, regardless of where the space that the sneakers are in. They said Cement 3 is reimagined. Got backlash. Couple of months went by. There'll be OGs. Why not make them OG from the beginning? Why not just make them OG from the beginning? Because y'all wanted to make them reimagine so we could keep waiting for the OG Black Cement 3s. That was the point. To build hype for the OG Black Cement 3s. To create a shoe no one really wanted. It was cool. We were going to check it out because it's a reimagined classic. But y'all were going to use that shoe to build hype and release the OG Black Cement 3s years later. I'm pretty sure before the last two years, Nike or Jordan, whoever, because the, the Nike logo is on the back, both of y'all had no intention of releasing an OG Cement 3. A reimagine maybe. But y'all wasn't going to release an OG Cement 3 anytime soon. If y'all, if no one complained about the reimagined Black Cement 3s, those would have been the ones that was going to be released. But in a time like now with the re how the recession is, if people don't like a shoe, they're not going to buy it. it. It holds no resale value. No resellers are going to buy it. Again. We're going to get to the bot thing in another episode. That's a whole nother thing. But it still falls into the space. So we'll see how it goes. Last question. Last time Air Jordan Black Cement 3 was released. And this is a classic, by the way. Don't get it twisted. Now, this wasn't too long ago. This was 18. 
So The Air Jordan 3 Black Cement last released in 2018 with the OG Nike Air branding, staying true to the iconic design. However, exciting news awaits. These classic sneakers are confirmed to return on November 23rd, 2024. All right, man. So we going to wrap this up. Still got more still got more kicks to get into, really. I could probably go for another hour just and it's really that many. It's really that many. And I'm not even oh man, I I'll get into I'll get into these part two. Oh my god, I'll get not a bad shoe. I'll get I'll get into these part two, man. Urban AI strategic thinking media platform. Listen, man, the point of this video was to say anybody in the shoe business, I I'm I'm dibbling and dabbling in it. I have in the past. This is the time to turn up. That was the point of this episode. All these are going to be re-released. Some of them may sit. These fire reds, sixes might be in that, you know, it might, might, might be in that boat as well. Hopefully they are because I'm liking these. But y'all know why these, y'all know why these piss me off. Y'all know why these piss me off. And they piss everybody off. Y'all know why. Y'all know what these look like. But I'm not going to do too much. We're going to get into that in the next episode. The point of this was, in the sneaker game, we have to play the game that these retailers, Nike, Jordan, Adidas, FUBU, Fat Farm, whoever the fuck you buy your clothes from, the games that they play with you, we got to play them back, y'all. We have to play these games back. So when they're giving away these OGs like this, we're going to scoop them up and flip them, all right? This is a strategic thinking media platform. Thank you for watching Urban AI. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.